Okay, let's bring in now Peter McGuire, Chief Executive for Australia at XM.com. Thank you so much, uh, Peter, for joining us. Will, are we going to see a bounce back in the first quarter of 2019 or is it more the same like December? Well, good morning. I think in a lot of ways, it'd be very hard to see, you know, a, a continual fall from the present. I think that the, at the moment, movement to the upside, we're going to see probably those tanks feel as though they've been fairly heavily sold off. And you might see further um, chance of a little bit further uptick. So at the present, I think it's going to be a wild ride for the first 90 days, but I feel as though we'll see further upside. It will indeed uh, be a wild ride. You still have that ongoing trade conflict uh, between the United States and China. You have Brexit and rising interest rates. Well, exactly right. And I feel as though that all of those components are going to make it, a vo as far as volatility, are going to contribute to it. But I feel as though the stimulus markets are oversold so i feel as though you might get a bounce from here for the first at least 60 days of that quarter which asian markets in your point of view are currently trading at attractive levels well i think you've got to look at the emerging markets you've got to look at the likes of the vietnams you've got to look at you know hong kong you've got to probably even cast your eye over to china as well many of those markets have had very very heavy sell-offs in 18 and uh, many times you see these big sell-offs, you get an opportunity. The world's not a bad place in many ways. Interest rates, markets, and possibly Singapore as well, you'll see an uptick. All right, looking good for some Asian markets in 2019. Thank you so much for your insights on the markets. Peter McGuire, Chief Executive for Australia at XM.com.